everyone, it's Lisa, and you are really going to have to forgive me today because I am using my new camera, and I know nothing of what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope that I am looking at the right place. It is so hard for me not to look at the little viewfinder. Even though I'm not used to looking at myself, I am used to looking above it, so I'm just naturally drawn to the screen. But, um, so I am going to do the best I can here to show you all the wonderful things that Meryl Norman sent me. I used every, not every one of them, of course, almost every one of them today. I did, I think, I think I did like three lip combos, and I do still have my mirror here, so I might look at that just to see what I have on. But... I am just so grateful, so I want to show everything, and I figured this would be a good way to start and show swatches, too. So, um, the first thing I started out with was their Foundation Primer, Primer Plus, and it is um, Foundation Primer Plus SPF 15. So, I used this on, um, and let's see, and my tan looks just crazy. So let me see what that will do. So you can see it's just that gel consistency. And what I did is I applied it with my um, hourglass brush that I apply their primer with. And then uh, she sent me two colors of their foundation, the ivory and the vanilla, which sounds like it's going to be way too light for me. But the ivory... I was surprised that vanilla was lighter than ivory, but um, actually, this is funny, Brooke already has the vanilla, and she's been using that, I think she used it yesterday and today, and you know how kids are, they love your new stuff, they love whatever you're using, that's what they want to use or eat, but this is the ivory, and you can see that it is just a great color, and has a pump, so I took the a pump of this. This is going to be messy, but I'm, this is an experiment. Or not an experiment, this is just, we're just playing with my new camera. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay, and then they sent me the liquid shimmer. And um, let me see, I kept the boxes just so I could read some of, so the makeup is the Perfecting Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 25. And um, Meryl Norman, established in Los Angeles since 1931. I think that's a great thing. Okay, so um, the makeup, and then this is the liquid shimmer. And she said this gr was great to mix in with your foundation or like my CC cream or use to highlight. And it's beautiful. It reminds me of the Becca. It's beautiful. Or the um, drops that you get from MAC. So what I did is I just mixed that all together, <laughs> and I'm definitely, I brought a washcloth, but I'm definitely going to probably need to, but you can see how pretty that was, and I just smoothed it right on with one of my Sedona Lace, you know, those brushes that are meant for that. I forget what number it was, but it was the slanted kind of flat top brush, and it's beautiful. Here, I'll try to, even though this is way too much, let's see if I can smooth that out and show you the coverage which I think Meryl Norman has always been known for their foundations and their coverage. Um, so I know I've got way too much on here. So there you go. So you can see it gave perfect coverage and it still has that glow. And um, so then I set it with my NARS shimmer powder. And um, I don't know if you can see how like flawless that and is. after that, okay, they sent me two bronzers. And their bronzers, she said, she sent me two different colors because she said she likes to use the darkest one for contour and the other one for all over. And they are high definition pigments. Okay, the bronzing powder. Okay, high definition pigments create a flawless, naturally bronzed appearance in any light. Apple extract complex adds smoothness and protects from drying ideal for all skin types and they are beautiful this one is beach side and it is the darkest one and it looks scary but this is what i used for contour and you know all around my forehead i would compare this to oh, let me do a swatch i would compare this to like um let's see let me do it on my hand because it looks 
Okay, I would compare that to like, let's see, what do I have that would be like that? The Laura Mercier Bronze Loose Powder or Bare Minerals Warmth, something like that, that you're wanting to get that warmth. And then this one is Poolside, and this is the one that is, I noticed they're looking a little darker on the camera. And that is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. We might have to adjust the colors or whatever. This will be, like I said, this is a test run. And I hate to do this to poor Meryl Norman. But um, so anyway, both of those were beautiful. I have them on and I love them. I hope you can see the colors. And this one I could really just do all over. If you're, if you have a foundation or something that you want to warm up, that is perfect and for that. And she sent me two blushes. One of them is the Purely Mineral Cheeks blush, and it's in Rosy Outlook. And then the other one is Lasting Cheek Color in Amber or Angel Glow. And that's the one I used today. And I just did the pop of color right on my cheeks. And um, let's see. So it is a really pretty, everything's looking a little bit brighter on my camera. Um, I don't know how it'll go onto your screen, but um, just a beautiful, which it is a lot more color. It's kind of like, if I had to say, kind of like a, a little bit more intense um, orgasm, NARS orgasm, or, um, <laughs> that was funny, <laughs> or one of those colors like that. Okay, and this is Rosy Outlook, and it is the mineral, and it's one of the tawnier colors, too. So, great for a good pop of color, and kind of reminds me of the Chanel Tempting Beige, and the colors like that. Okay, so I used this one, which was the lasting color in um, Angel Okay, then Blood. I used the, I used this, I think, I think I used this maybe before I did the, right after the foundation is I think when I did this. And this is their Dual Action Concealer and um, Corrector. And this is Medium Light Neutral. And let's see if they have any. Um, buildable moisturizing concealer evens out skin while anti-aging technology softens the appearance of fine lines. You know, dermatologist tested and all that stuff. Okay, so I have not used a concealer like this in a long time. And so what I did is just dot it under my eyes and then pat it out. I'm not sure if that's the best way, but I'll show you. So it's very smoothing. And I don't know if you can see under my eyes, I don't think there's any, oh gosh, pat some more on this. This will be one of these kind of videos. I'll pat some more on right here. So I don't know if you can see, but there's no lines so far. And I certainly have plenty of wrinkles for That's it to go in. the concealer. Then I put on my normal eyeshadows. Um, I think I used MAC. Wedge, Cork, and um, the new one, which is, I can't remember, I'll have to put the name down here. And then I used their eyeliner, which is the Pro Pen Eyeliner Sharp Black, and it is absolutely very sharp. It is very black and very easy to use. And I probably should not be putting that over the um, eyeshadow, but just real glossy. And I don't know if you can see here. Let's try to zoom and see what happens. Okay, it doesn't zoom. Okay, it didn't like zoom up to my eyes. So I wanted to worry about fixing that. But um, so good wing, loved it. And you could probably do that um, thing like the Too Faced one too. In here at the waterline probably should do that okay so that's that and then um, she sent me another inner eyeliner I ended up using the one I already have but I'll show you this one and it is just the this is what started it all this is the nude flesh tone and I love it I don't know if you can see how open my eyes look with it um, but it is the flesh tone and it's just great to line the inner rim of your eyes and it's not too white and not too smushy. I'm gonna go wash this foundation off my hands and bronzer and everything else so, so you can see everything. Now I've got a clean hand to work on. 
Okay, so then lots of wonderful lip products. That was probably the most exciting. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you the lip polish, which is in Shy. I don't know, I hope that will, I'm not sure how the um, thing works as far as focusing in, but this, we're, we're dealing with the basics today. This is a great nude, and I this is probably my, I think my third lip combo I did. Um, first one, I did a real nude one, and I wasn't sure it was going to show. So, and you can see that is a lip polish. It has lots of good pigment. You could wear it on its own. They sent me one, two, I think three of these, which is the ones I was telling you about, where they're one, line, one side is the lip liner and then the other side is the lipstick. And I think this is going to be my favorite one. This is the one I didn't try on. I, let's see, this is um, Pinky Primrose. And so one side is the liner. And we'll do that. There's the liner. And then the other side is the lip color. And these are long lasting. And they might be, I remember, they might be a little bit dry, but that's because they're long lasting and you just can put a gloss over it if you want, or you can wear it plain. But so that is that combo. And I love how the liner is a little bit darker, but the same tone. And then the next one is um, Guava, and it's a really good nude. She's, she did good. She knew exactly what I liked. So this is the liner, and then this is the, this one's really pretty. You're going to like that. Isn't that Guava pretty? That would be one I think would be good to start off with. And then this is what I first put on, and I wasn't sure it was going to be enough color to show. I'm not used to having a good camera, so... I, it probably would have been fine, but it's called Sincerely, and this is the, it's kind of like linen. This is the lip liner, and this is the lip color. It's beautiful, a really good nude lip. And then that, um, some, this shy gloss would go really well over that. Let me put some. So you can see how pretty Okay, and then the is. lip combo that I am wearing today, this was the, I think the third or fourth one, the one I ended up with, is just their lip liner. And it is the Age Defying Lip Liner in Neutrals. And it is very neutral, like that. And I'm actually gonna, I put it on first and, uh, I didn't go back over it, so. Will's watching me. There, I think it looks better when I added a little bit more lip liner. And then the lipstick that I'm wearing today, she sent me a couple of different formulas. This one is the Age Defying Lip Color in Amber Rose. And really pretty. It is like an amber rose color, like a tawny rose. And I'll put that right beside the lip liner that I use. So that's the combo that I have on today. And um, it's really pretty. It's kind of like a rosy Huntington Whiteley type color. Okay, and then I have two other lipsticks. This one is called Guava, and it's also the same formula, the Age Defying Lip Color. It's really pretty, like a nude. really pretty. That's one I wear a lot. Look, it's very glossy too. And then this one is one that I remember looking at in the store because I can remember this name. It's called Bear Hug. Let's see. I wonder what I have to do to make it zoom in. If you guys know what I need to do to make it zoom in like on whatever I'm holding up, which you can see it good anyway. Maybe that did it. Yeah, that took it off of me and put it on this. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning. Um, and this is the other formula. It is the lip glaze. So this is going to be a little bit more sheer. And um, it's one that, you know, does like that. And I'll do it over here. It's beautiful. But it's a good, you know, tawny bear color. Right there. So, and it has the little, let's see if it shows that. See how it's kind of um, embossed right there. 
Okay, so I think I sh have shown you everything. So thanks again to Merle Norman and Anne Marie for sending those things to me, and I'll be trying them and trying them in different ways and everything. Today, I kind of just wanted to do an introduction and do all the swatches, and I'm going to be right back okay, with my so outfit today of the day. I have on just that um, little basic top that I got from Dillard's, I guess, two weeks ago, and um, it's just, this is why I like it. It's just so form-fitting and neat, and I feel like you can wear it under things and wear it with skirts, whatever, and it's just a little bit sheer, which I like too. Perfect transition. And then the skirt I have on is the one I just showed you yesterday, and um, you'll notice I wore my black today because I wanted to see, kind of celebrating. I wanted to see how it would do, but so far so good, I guess. And, um, and so for shoes, for shoes, I have on the Nine West Nude that I got a couple weeks ago. And so you can see how easy it is just to throw an outfit together when you have these skirts. You can just, you know, put anything together and I think it looks nice and it's, you can make it dressy or casual. You then know, for accessories, I have on this necklace, which I have had for years. I bought it before I started YouTube and it is the... I believe it's called MJ Savit, and um, it's a necklace I bought at one of the shops down at the beach. I saw a girl wearing one, and I loved it, and it's just long. You can do all kinds of things with it, and um, so I have this on. I have on my Sheila Fajal. Here, I'll hold them up and see what that does, too. Sheila Fajal hoop earrings, which are my favorite hoops, and you can see, I hope you, let me see if you can see how um, they have like a finish on them, like a kind of brushed finish. And um, let's see, no fragrance. And um, my ring is the Jenny Bird Hear Me Roar Lion Ring that I love. And you can see all the detail now, it's just beautiful. And the nail polish I'm wearing is, it's limited edition and it's gone, it's the Orly Confetti. I just threw it on last night because I wasn't crazy about that Dior polish I had on yesterday. I could not even remember the name of it, and I ended up returning it. It was, um, the sparkle in it made it kind of globby and hard to apply, and anyway, so I don't even know the name of that one. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, and I hope this turns out okay. I'm going to, even if it's eh, I'm going to post it because you guys understand that I'm just learning, and um, I see my hair's going all crazy. And um, so, and thanks again to Meryl Norman, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.